Have I have my girls at the gym? Dude, of course I have. What do you think? Uh, do you have any tips or routines for gym game? Uh, you just got to become like the, the, the gym the, the gym cool guy. You got to be like looking fresh to the death. Um, you got to get yourself some flashy shoes in my opinion. You got to be looking like gymhotdude.com. And you know, you want to be looking good. You want to be friends with all the staff members. You want to you want to exude high status in the gym. You don't want to just be some schlub. You want the the staff to know who you are. You want the managers to know who you are. You want all the personal trainers. You want to know like the biggest the biggest most jack dude. You want to make sure you're on, you're on good terms with him. Good way to do that. Just straight up walk up to him, compliment him. What's up, dude? Looking pretty big. And then you know, just kind of you know. The big, the big jacked pretty guys, you know, to honestly, they're actually some of the nicest and friendliest guys ever. I used to know this guy. His name was Lee Fort, F-O-R-T. This was, this guy was the biggest black motherfucker I've ever seen in my entire life. And this guy was so nice. This was the nicest, kindest, most gentle soul. I, I mean, you know, there's some people when you, when you pass through, um, life, and you meet them and you're like, that is just the nicest person. That is just a pleasant individual. And um, this man was like six foot five. He was like 260 pounds. He was like, I'm not even joking, walking around at like 8% body fat. This man was a genetic specimen. All natty. This guy was like a Spartan, like a Master Chief, like Halo Spartan. And, um, you know, I was pals with him. Just Big ass gorilla hands that could like just palm my entire face with his hands. And this was like the nicest, most charming guy. We went out with a group of people drinking and, uh, you know, he was always telling me about how to like, you know, you know, just giving me some, you know, gym pointers here and there. And, um, so you want to, you want to befriend the, you know, the, the people in the gym. You want to befriend the staff. You want to find the hot girls, befriend them, you know, and with the hot girls, just be friends with them. I'm not too much of an advocate of girls at the gym have my girls at the gym dude of course i have what do you think um but the thing is it's like i take the gym pretty seriously and like the same thing with my my jujitsu gym right and so like there, there are and so in the morning when i do my my jujitsu and kickboxing it's it's literally nine girls and me and some of these girls are Desperate housewives, right? And here I am, Mr. Foreign Guy, and I'm coming in there. Obviously, I'm the biggest and strongest guy there other than the teacher because I'm the, I'm a man, right? And so they see me, you know, throwing my combinations, hitting the heavy bag, and then the, the, the you know, my teacher is a former UFC fighter, Yoshiyuki Yoshida. And he's saying like, wow, Jonathan, your right hand is so strong, you know? And then all these girls are watching it. Do I want to pipe these down? Absolutely. Are you joking me i want to have the raunchiest nastiest sexual time i can have with these girls there's this one girl there who's got like like oh just in a like flat stomach solid c cup big ass and i just and she's like stops me outside of the gym she's like oh hi come talk to me she's like hi my name's blah 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 nice to meet you do i have the opportunity for her I, i i think so i think i can make it do it i think i can make it happen i'm american i can do anything um, but then the problem is when you f- girls at the gym is down the road, you got to see them again and again and again. And then if it starts to go sour or whatnot, then there's always going to be that awkward tension. And typically one of you is going to quit the gym and I'm not a quitter, so it's going to be her. But then if that gets to, to the sensei for me and he's like, oh, you know, this dude's f- in the gym. Now I'm f- with that man's money so it, it, it's it, there are many levels to this that you must consider right there you have to you have to realize that there's so many women out there my friend there's so many women don't don't have that uh scarcity mindset now you know if you're going to like la fitness or a big thing you, you don't have quite the dilemma like i do right i have kind of a moral dilemma with this situation um if i wanted to be full scumbag i could but i i value getting training from a ufc uh veteran over just that I'm, I, you know, after I have sex with her, like, you know, three to seven times, I'm going to be pretty much disinterested, right? So um, that's how you get her, though. 
if you want to be the gym pimp, you know, you got to you got you got to become the gym guy like everybody knows whatever. And uh, you kind of have to like become like you know the 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 gym. It's like you know gyms are kind of like um, high school all over again. There's a social hierarchy, and you just got to work your way up to the top and, and be that hot dude. And then that's how you get the uh, the little plebs, you know, hot little pleb that comes like who's this? Bitch? You know, she's hot. She but she doesn't have status in the gym. She doesn't know you know she doesn't know Charles in accounting. She doesn't know Ray the personal trainer. She doesn't know all these people. How dare she step foot in my territory? Come bring forth your vagina as an offering. <laughs> but yeah, that's what I would say. 